Hello everyone, this is Zenial, and um, I have something to say to you right now that um, might um, cheer some people up and maybe not some others. But um, I would say that um, this nation is filled to the brim with um, the sins of every other nation. Like This nation is basically filled to the brim with sin. But this is not what's um, basically going to cheer you up. But one thing that's going to cheer you up is that um, less than 985 people are left to save in America. And that's what God told me. That this 1,000 count is actually um, that we are at the last 1,000 people. And this is before the tribulation time happens. I saw like a Flashing, flashing images and some of them I could see some I like couldn't but this one I could actually was um, one of them was people seeing stars from fall from heaven maybe going towards heaven maybe falling down from heaven another one was tribulation times maybe um, a wave coming to a hit of America things like that and what's interesting is we're very close to the end, you know. That's what we should feel. And even if we're not, I mean, we can live the, our lives like we did, let's say before, maybe before all this was happening. But you know, you guys, you guys said this is clear because really, we are getting really close to the end. Um, like, do we know what's going to happen? Uh, no. But, we can be sure that we're getting really close, like, we have prophecies, like, falling off the pages of the Bible really quickly. And we're really running out of them, uh, of the prophecies that will happen before the tribulation times. So we definitely know that, um, I mean, we've had, like, 500 plus pages of prophecy fall, fall off the pages of the Bible since... I would say Roman times, maybe 300 since the 1940s. And to be clear, we're on the last few pages, I would say, maybe like dozens, of, maybe dozens, but that just, I mean, that shouldn't just surprise me because we've had the whole entire page of, um, Matthew chapter like that we've had we've we've had the whole entire chapter of Matthew chapter twenty four really being explained away, except for the second half of uh, I would say ch Matthew chapter twenty four of what was going on in the end. So right now we're at the season of lawlessness. Before it was wars and rumors of wars, false prophets. So the first thing that was happening was, um, well, there were false prophets. And um, obviously these people were around since the 70s. Then wars and rumors of wars were happening since the 80s. And natural disasters since the 2000s. And pestilences since the later 2000s and lawlessness happening since today. So obviously, the last thing is lawlessness. And the unfortunate thing, and the unfortunate thing for them is that we're coming really close to the end. And now we're coming uh, around uh, 281 people left to save in America, um, unless I intervene and that comes to 280. Wherever it comes to be, we are very close to the end. Like lawlessness has been around since, I would say, 2017. And it's it's spiking. The times of the end, like, the, the prophecies are really spiking in, like, amount. And if you haven't seen what was going on in the news, I mean, the last thing that's happening right now is that um, Israel's not divided. It is no, no, it's no longer Palestine and Israel. It's going to be one nation that Israel's going to be.
Palestine no longer included, and Israel is going to be the one major nation that is no longer divided. It could gain land, it may not gain land. But it's going to gain Palestine. It's, it's no, the Palestine is not going to be under the question. I would say that um, either Palestine is going to be Israel, and it's going to be part of all Israel and that Palestine rules, or Israel is going to be, you know, I would say, taking away Palestine. But to be clear, we are getting really close to the end. Like, that's probably not the last prophecy that's going to happen, that Israel becomes one land. Two, two leaders have already passed. And now we've already been elected, now there's already been elected the king, the leader. And one of them surely is going to take away the land of Palestine or take away the land of Israel. Which one? Who knows? But we do know this. America, in this prophecy, is having like a few leaders of every state. Like f few states are trying to um, get literally get rid of Israel by by just you know saying we no longer are part of Israel, and my say included. So please pray for me that I'm safe because by doing that. We are literally causing disaster to come at our front door. It's inviting disaster in. So please pray for me because I want to be safe and I want to be secure by God. And let me just point out the last thing to you before I leave. Now I'm going to say this from now on because I already know of one person that's already passed away since my last video, my earliest video about um, death. And you may not like this, but I'm going to have to say this loud and clear because a person I know has passed away from a car wreck. Um, someone rushing and speeding and crashing into our car and I'm not going to say names because that's kind of um, personal, but she was on the news and she ended up, um, you know, dying from a car crash. And that was the day after I made that video about what if you die tomorrow. So, my point to you is, you, can, you don't know when your last breath is. And I'm going to tell you right now, are you going to go to heaven or are you going to go to hell? That's my last point. And to basically clear that point is all you have to do to make it to heaven is believe that these, that Jesus died for your sins not only to die for your sins but to take all of your sins away Jesus is who he says he is he came and died to take all of our sins away he was perfect and blameless and holy he did all of that so once we believe in that that we are sinners and that Jesus came to, die, to take our, all of our sins away. That week alone, once we call, we will be saved forever. So this is, um, this is what salvation is. Knowing that you're a sinner, admitting that, believing in Jesus, that way he's done for you to take all of our sins away. And the last part is calling upon his name to have mercy on you, to accept him as Lord and Savior. And all of that, that you want to do personally with him. Just to be personal with Jesus. If you really believe in all of those things, the ABCs of, the ABCs of salvation anyway, if you really call upon the Lord, of, if you really call upon the Lord Jesus, just for anything, for salvation wise, have mercy on you. To admit that you're a sinner and to also... Accept him as your Lord and Savior. You will forever be saved. And you will forever be set for heaven. Alright, I'll be done now, okay? Bye.